This is how you automatically create animated subtitles like top YouTube creators in a matter of minutes. If you already know how to automatically create captions and just want to know how to animate them, you can skip to this timestamp on the screen now. Let's get started. Drag your footage and audio onto the timeline. First, I'm going to remove these silences from this footage. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on how I do that. It's this easy. I'm not even touching. My hands are free right now, it's magic. So now it's done. After doing this, make sure all the footage is selected. You can either drag over all of it or do control A to select all. Then come up to the text panel. Once you're in the text panel, come over to transcript. In the text panel, you'll see different speakers and what they say along with corresponding time codes. You can change words in here by double clicking and then just typing the words you wanna change it to. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Now, if you don't see any of your transcript already, that's fine. You just don't have it automatically set to auto transcribe your videos when you drag it into your timeline. So let me show you how to turn on the auto transcription. Let's come to edit, preferences, transcription, and then just make sure automatically transcribe clips is checked. Then click OK. If you don't want that on, that's fine. Just make sure you transcribe the sequence whenever you're ready. Then making sure the clips are all still selected, come up to this little CC button, which as you can see is create captions. Click on this, then twirl down the preferences. Now we haven't made one yet, but I'll show you how to make one later. But if you have a style, you can click here and select that. I like to keep maximum length of characters to 20, minimum duration to 1.2, and lines is up to you, but I like to do single. Click create captions, and within seconds, we have all of our captions here. Now, just like before, if we come to a certain part, we can double click it and change certain words how we would like, if there are errors or if we just wanna change something. Now, these subtitles just kinda of suck. Select all of the subtitles, then you will see this essential graphics panel here on the right side. The track style is where you can create a style. So this is what I was talking about before, where you can select a style if you have one made. Now, we don't have the style made yet, so we won't create that. We will change the text to a font that we like. I'm gonna do TT Commons because I like that font. I'm gonna change the size to 64, and then make sure you center the text. I'm also just gonna make it all caps. Fill will keep white, we'll add a stroke, make that black. And then shadow, I'm gonna make this last setting zero. That basically just blurs the drop shadow. And I'll change this second to last setting to two so that it's not as big. Cool, I like that. Now they look like this but we want to animate these. We want them to be moving. So let's go up to graphics and titles and then select upgrade caption to graphic. And as you can see, these subtitles have turned from subtitles on the subtitle layer to subtitles that are text layers, which are also editable. So we can come to the beginning here, come up to effect controls. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five keyframes forward using my right arrow key. Set a keyframe with the scale, the little stopwatch here. Come back to keyframes, set another one. I'm gonna go 105 on the scale here, and then come to the beginning and go 95. Which is to identify. And as you can see, we have a little pop. I'm also going to select all these keyframes, select ease in and ease out by right clicking on them. And as you can see, Which is to it makes it a little smoother. Which is now, we don't want this to be in the middle because it's covering my face. So let's use the position here and drop that down to right below the neckline here. Which is too high. And now, as you can see, the animation starts from there and the text stays down here. But we still have all these other layers that are not the same. Don't worry, it's very easy. We just need to come up to effect controls on this first layer that we did the animation on, select vector motion, and then do control C to copy that. Then zoom out using the minus key, select all of your subtitles, and then do control V. And now, now we have all of the subtitles down here. And the best part is with these, you can still select them all Come over to the Essential Graphics panel. You can change the color of the text here, and this will change it for every single one. So let's say I want to make it a little bigger. Let's come up to the size, make it 96. And now I have large subtitles that are all animated. It's that easy. Now, if you want this to be a style to use in all of your videos, just to automate everything and make it much easier for the future, select on one of them, come up to the Essential Graphics and click on this. And then you'll see everything open up again, and you can come to styles, select that and do create style. We will name it test style, select okay. And now it shows up in our project. Now how this works is let's say we have the base text when you first open Premiere on your subtitles. All you have to do is apply your preset style to that text layer and boom, it makes it how you wanted it. And if you want to export this style to use in other projects, just right click on it and select export text styles which you can later import into your other projects. So pretty easy. And this is the most efficient way that I've found to create subtitles within Premiere Pro. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this helped you out and you wanna see more videos like this. I hope this helped. And as always, thanks for watching.